Here are some of our favorite hiking trails around Reykjavik. Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland. The closest capital city to the polar region in the world is Reykjavik. It is an important fishing area and half of Iceland's population lives in this city. This city is located on the coast of Faxafoli Bay in southwest Iceland. The Reykjavik coastal area consists of peninsulas, bays, straits, and islands. During the Ice Age, up to 10,000 years ago, a large glacier covered the entire city area. Other parts of the city were surrounded by seawater. Reykjavik is the ideal destination for a lover of mountains, volcanoes, and glaciers. You can climb waterfalls here, walk on black beaches, and mossy lava fields. There is nothing more refreshing than breathing in Iceland's clean mountain air and relaxing in one of Iceland's many natural hot springs. Now, let's give you some information about favorite hiking trails in Reykjavik. Moskaro Sunjikar. Moskaro Sunjikar is 20 minutes from Reykjavik and is also less explored by Icelandic natives. The summit belongs to Iceland's most famous hiking mountain, Mount Eschen. This road leads to two bright cone-shaped hills on the east side. These hills appear sparkly from afar and have a distinctive bright yellow color as a result of rhyolites formed by volcanic rocks. This hike is very difficult, but the scenery is magnificent. You will pass through small lava fields covered with blueberries. The vegetation will gradually disappear as you go up the hills, but you will start to see basalt rocks and yellow rhyolite rocks above. Some areas are covered with snow all year round. The views from above are breathtaking. With panoramic views of Reykjavik as well as beautiful views of neighboring peaks and ridges of the Estjan mountain range. Hiking time, four hours. Trail length, three kilometers. Six kilometers round trip. Elevation, 677 meters. Summit, 807 meters. Difficulty, challenging. Top tip. Drive from Reykjavik to Mosfellbær. Once you pass the town, turn right on the last turn towards Reykjadalur, first exit. After a 10 to 20 minute drive, you will reach a sign listed as Hrafnalur. On the left, it can be easily missed. Follow the muddy road until you reach an old summer cottage. This is the end of the road and you should be close to a small bridge that you have to cross to start the walk. This road may be closed to traffic during the winter months. It is necessary to walk. Reykjadalur. This walk will take you to a hot spring river, which is home for bathing. Havagaroy, or Valley of the Stream, is a town famous for its geothermal activity. Those who live here literally have a hot springs in their backyard. There is also a geothermal park in town that is worth seeing. In the park, locals bake the famous black bread, using geothermal grounds as an oven. Wooden ramps and cabins were built around the hot springs to change clothes. Definitely worth experiencing this beautiful valley. You'll see everything from live sulfur springs to small gurgling melting pots. It will take about one hour to reach the warm river where you can relax after the walk. Don't forget to bring a bathing suit. Hiking time, two to three hours. Trail length, three kilometers. Six kilometers round trip. Elevation, 200 to 300 meters. Difficulty, easy. Top tip, if you drive to Reykjavik, Reykjadalur is 30 to 40 minutes away. Start in Reykjavik and travel to Havagaroy South Loss. Drive to the main road until you reach Havagaroy. You will reach a point where there's a right turn towards a golf course, but you must follow the road to the left and continue until there is a car park next to a small river, Varma. Mount 
Mount Fifilsfell, one of the most popular hikes among Reykjavik citizens. This summit will offer one of the best views of Mount Esjen and the Rekjens Peninsula, the lower leg of sheep-shaped Iceland. Hiking can be inaccessible during the winter months, but in that case, we recommend the nearby Blafol, Blue Mountains, the most popular ski area around Reykjavik. Hiking time, one and a half to two and a half hours, trail length, three kilometers, or seven to six kilometers round trip, elevation, 305 meters, summit, 655 meters, difficulty, easy. Top tip, only a 20 minute drive from Reykjavik. Head towards Havagarai and Selfloss on the main road, Route 1, until you reach a sign for Blafold Skiing Area. Drive past it and take the next right turn and follow the road until you reach the roots of the mountain. Mount Estja. Mount Estja, often referred to as Esjan or Estja, is probably the best known trail outside of Reykjavik. Be sure to meet many happy Icelanders to welcome you. Many Reykjavik residents have certainly climbed Mount Estja at some point in their lives. Even though they have never climbed any other mountain in Iceland, many Icelanders go there every weekend and some almost every day. It is also popular with athletes. So don't be surprised if you see people running past you, holding on and trying to breathe. Estja is a volcanic mountain range. This hiking trail will take you to the top of Perfelsen. At the very beginning, you will cross a beautiful little river flowing down the mountain with pine trees and drinkable fresh water. As you climb higher, you will witness the magnificent view of both the city and its surroundings. Most hikers will only go as high as the big rock called Stein or the stone. From here, the road to the summit becomes steeper. When you reach the top, you'll really feel like you've accomplished something. Hiking time, three to four hours round trip. Trail length, three and a half kilometers or seven kilometers round trip. Elevation, 780 meters. Summit, 780 meters. Stein, 760 meters. Difficulty, challenging. Top tip. Heading east from Mosfelber, head straight for a few detours, 20 to 30 minutes drive from Reykjavik. As you approach the mountain, you will encounter a large parking lot and a nice cafe on the foot of the track. This trail can also be reached by bus. From Helmer, take the bus 15 and switch to 57 at Mosfelber. Gleamer Waterfall. At 196 meters, Glimmer is Iceland's second highest waterfall and is located in Havelafjord, a deep fjord north of Reykjavik. Today, Havelafjord is known as the Ghost Fjord. It gives most Icelanders two hours of bonus time by going through a tunnel under the sea. The old route is even more enjoyable these days because if you go this route, the roads are almost empty. You'll cross steep mountain ranges rivers and old farms on your right, and calm sea on your left. At the end of the fjord, the Gleamer waterfall will greet you. However, to reach the opposite side, you will have to cross the icy river that feeds the waterfall. The hike begins by passing through a small cave and crossing the Batsa River over a wooden log. Caution, some parts are strenuous and potentially dangerous, and you will need to navigate the edges of steep descents. Hiking at the Glimmer waterfall is incredibly beautiful. When viewed from below, you will catch the entire fjord along the waterfall hidden behind the valley. Hiking time, three hours. Trail length, three kilometers. Six kilometers round trip. Elevation, 280 meters. Difficulty, easy to challenging. Top tip, Glimmer Waterfall is located on the Havelafjord Ford in West Iceland, about an hour's drive from Reykjavik. At the beginning of your hike, you will pass some old farms, a few bridges, you'll see an abandoned gas station. This time, you can be sure to get close to the waterfall. <laughs> 